Hello, so I thought I'd make this video because I can and I really want to dye my hair. I'm so sick of just being boring, like just brown, but then I really like being natural and then it's just like fuck sick, I just don't know what to do. Like part of me wants to do half of it like underneath of my hair, purpley, dark purpley brown and the top it just brown and then the other half of it wants to highlight my hair. And then I know that bleach is the devil, and then I'm just like, oh, and then I'll hate it after a couple of days, and then I'll just have damaged hair for the sake of having damaged hair, and I just don't know what to do, and part of me wants to like ombre dip my hair and have like fucking pinks and blues and shit, and I just don't know, I just don't know who I am anymore, I'm just, I just don't know what I want to do, and my necklace is the wrong way around. It's got to be this way. So I'm off to test, guys to find out, hopefully, who I am. Because I've totally forgotten, and I'm bored, and I'll probably start crying because I want my hair healthy and to grow, but I also will start crying if I don't fucking do something with my hair, because I'm just so bored, and I've been debating it for God knows how long, so I think I just need to pull my finger out and pick the camera around to make this cut out. This makes me sad. <laughs> so, as I say, I'm gonna drive to Tesco's and hopefully try and find the answers to all my, uh, all my problems. I'll probably come back with fucking blue air or something, aren't I? Or I could just do what normal people do, go for freaking hairdressers. But no, I don't do all that, do I? So I'm just gonna DIY and fuck her hair up again. And I'm sure you'll be there completely for the journey. Like just arriving at Tesco's, I'm seriously like just thinking that what I wanna do is like highlight it. And I know that sounds terrible because I will regret it and like, a couple of days time because it always looks like fucking messy and gingery and coppery afterwards and I just, it's difficult when you highlight it highlighting it with like a cap and stuff because if you want to go over your highlights say in a couple of weeks time you can't like pull back out the same strands and I think it just looks very messy so I really don't know I'm talking myself out of it now aren't I Right, let's park this vehicle of mine and I'll talk to you in a minute. Hi guys, so I think I may well have lost my entire fucking mind. Like, I swear I only bought it for the simple fact that I've never bought pink hair dye in my life. Great, I've got a bus cutting me up and I've got cars cutting me up and you're all bitches. Fuckers. So yeah, I think I've completely lost the fucking plot. But I have also bought myself a mahogany reddish brown because I know surely what I'm gonna do. What I'm gonna do is when I get to Tesco's in Bulldog, I'm gonna read what the pink actually says to do. <laughs> That's what I should do. But I was just I got into Tesco's and I, I like videoed like a bit of it and all the different colours that they had and it was just it was just too much going on and I picked up a mahogany and then I picked up just a reddish brown and then that one was permanent and the mahogany was semi-permanent but I've used the mahogany from the cast cream before and fucking hated it. So I picked up a colour that I know I like and yeah, so yeah, it's it's pretty standard. I think it's the colour that I like, I do hope so. Yeah, natural dark reddish brown. I should have picked up the natural medium reddish brown. Maybe I'll swap it in Tesco if I can find it. Um, Hi guys, so the inevitable happened and what I went in for wasn't exactly what I wanted. I wanted 30 volume, I've come out with 40. That stupid twat I am. I'm gonna be crying later when it all goes to tears. And I got a highlighting kit as well, which I didn't wanna do, but here it is. And to be honest, it's for my mum. It's not for me, honestly, it's for my mum. Which also includes, hopefully, um, a developer cream so we've both got one it's just to keep her happy really but then I realized I was like, why don't I just stick a bit of her bleach but I'm gonna do a very smart intelligent thing I'm gonna keep all my receipts she says trying to find to find it so yeah I'm gonna keep all my receipts and if anything I don't use I'll just take it back uh, so whether I go pink whether I don't whether I use purple shampoo whether I don't whether I use the red whether I don't I'll just take it back and get my money back. So today's purchases are the VO5 heat defense spray, provoke touch of silver purple shampoo, 40 developer peroxide, 
we've got a highlighting kit we've got a 4rb natural dark reddish brown and of course we've got some pink fucking hair dye what an absolute twat oh and not forgetting my deal of the day the apricot scrub that i love so now i'm going to drive home try and explain to my mother why i'm doing this and for what beneficial reasons it is probably end up highlighting her hair for her and then not doing mine which would be really silly